super, super excited. How are you doing? You're welcome to today's market site with Maya Wawola. I'm really pumped up about this and I really, really want you guys to take your time to go through these daily videos and harness the market with it, okay? So today we're gonna to be going through a case study that we took on the 23rd of, on the 23rd of February. And this really, really, really is sweet. If this is your first time you're watching this video, you want to make sure you click on the subscribe button and make sure you share so that I can help other people succeed in this space. And if you're returning, make sure you comment. Let's see, type in your question if we, uh, so that we can answer and help you out to get to where you're going. So as usual, uh, which is to understand the direction of the market from higher time frame. And the direction of the market from the higher time frame has been ranging on monthly charts. You have this equal low and you have this equal high. However, it's still hanging around the supply zone here. So that gives us the other, other city to harness this zone, zone. And as usual, you always want to obey the first rule before you pick any trade, which is to confirm market structure. So if the market structure is there, then you're good. So we have what? A lower high, a lower low, a lower high, a lower low. Now, having confirmed that the next thing you, I want to do is to go to the lower time around this zone. Now, I've, I have drawn my trend line to be in alignment with the, mar with the market. So, that, so from this eye, drop down and the market retreats down back towards the, the external trend line which is drawn from monthly time frame all you now need to do is to look for the trend so the first time the market came in here which was a supply the second time it came in here it became what equal high which is liquidity so that exposed this level as our supply so Towards the close of work, um, towards the end of the day, on Tuesday, the market uh, into that zone. And you know that personally, I don't trade anything outside session. 12 noon, we had a confirmation that that zone was already approved by the, by the, into that level. The next thing you want to make sure you have is when the market approves the zone that hence it now after this drop and that becomes a place of what of interest now from there we go to five so on this five shown during the new york session So we had the reaction during the New York session. So immediately the market just used 15 minutes because the data is, is a bit far away. So immediately the market came back into this 15 minutes other block. And immediately the market came to the 15 minute other block session was here. You can see that guys. So this became And that was it. So I told everyone in the community to take off this trade. And it had, it had a 10 hour time frame. You would be having about time frame you're picking the trade from. And that led us to what we now have back on the daily time frame. On us. 1 to 25 already has given us 1 to 25. But oh, it's amazing. 1 to 25. So this is like $100 turn to $2,500. And it, a $1 turn to $25. And that's how to trade. Even when you're wrong seven times out of 10 times, 
You just need three trades to go in your direction because I picked this trade from monthly supply, which is rally based drop. Then we can potentially hold this trade, this move towards the end of this move because this is your rally, your base, your drop. So this become your supply zone. So this was the monthly supply that we narrow down to daily and we narrow down from daily to 15 minutes, even to five minutes, okay? So you want to understand that at every point in time, you must have your break of structure approving the zone where you want to pick your trade, which will allow you to know that the zone on, our, on the Telegram group. Okay. So you can see it. Give it the card. You can see it. Or you can see the first entry. You can see the second entry. And it's still dropping really deep. So as at when I posted it, it's over 1 to 20. Now it's still running. Now we should be able to get at least 1 to 50, 1 to 70. In this trade. And that is how to hold trade. Because if you are just trading one hour chart without obeying the bigger time frame, you're going to be just be taking small money. But when you go to the higher time frame and you're able to narrow down the journey, then while it's approaching uh, uh, the zone, then you can now go to lower time frame, kill the trade from there. They can get your 1 to 20, 1 to 50, 1 to 100, and we are good to go. So don't forget, number one, we followed market structure. Number two, we identified the supply and demand zone. We, number three, we went lower to the lower time. Supply and demand helps you to be able to catch this kind of move, and you're good to go. So guys, don't forget to subscribe if this is your first time, because we're going to be doing a lot of these. And as you see these, go to your chart, practice it. And if you feel like joining, if you want to join our community, you can shoot us an email or in the description below, you can click to make your payment to for the apples. Okay. By the weekend, I should be able to get you guys one or two potential trades that we're looking out for for next week. My name remains Maya Wawolabi, guys. I look forward to your success. And as you get better, I would like to hear from you guys as this is helping you. I'll talk to you soon. Don't forget, if you have questions, drop it on the comment below. I and one of my team will definitely, definitely reply and see better ways that you can get better. And in any way, if you have any video you want me to train on, just drop the comment below and I will be able to do that video for you. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a pleasant day. Cheers. Peace out, guys.